Hello, and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at division on a place value chart. This is part one. We'll be using this worksheet. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our division and place value sections. And this one's entitled division on a place value chart, word problems, four digit by one digit. And we have some directions. Solve the following word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's get started. Jack collects stickers of monkeys playing the banjo. So far, he has 1,216. He keeps them in four banana boxes. If he has the same number of stickers in each box, what is the total number of stickers in each box? Let's go back and take a close read of this problem, sentence by sentence, see if we can tease out the math information. Sentence one, Jack collects stickers of monkeys playing the banjo. Interesting and unusual, yet it's just story un information. Next sentence, so far he has 1,216. Did you hear that? 1,216. Definitely some important math information. If you're thinking that, good for you. Next sentence. He keeps them in four banana boxes. You're probably thinking four banana boxes would be important math information. Definitely. Good job. Next sentence. If he has the same number of stickers in each box, what is the total number of stickers in each box? You can see we have the same number in each box and then we have our math job in the form of a question what is the total number of stickers in each box and you could be thinking ahead like, well, how could i write a sentence that would answer that question if you reword this the sentence or the question sentence into a an answer sentence it may sound something like this. The total number of stickers in each box is. And then if you're thinking about it that in advance, it really helps you to understand what the problem is asking of you. So let's get started. We, we know a couple of different things here. We know the total number of stickers that Jack has, and he wants to share them equally or divide them equally and store them in four banana boxes. So if we were to set this up in the traditional way, you would would say, okay, we know that we have a total of 1,216 stickers in four, four boxes. And then you might go ahead and think, gee, um, I can see that there are, there are 12 hundreds here. We have 12 hundreds, you can see that. And we know that 12 divided by four is three, if you're thinking that good for you. So 1,216 is about 1,200. So 1,200 divided by 4 would probably equal 3 or 3 hundreds. Hmm. So that's a good way to estimate. So we can expect our, our quotient to be somewhere around 300. We know we're taking that larger total, dividing it by 4, we'll probably get somewhere around 300. Let, let's see what happens. Now, if we're using a place value chart, we're going to take that original number and represent it here on the place value chart. We'll put the digits right in here. We have 1,216, which has 1,000, 200, 110, and six ones. And now we could, we could show on our place value chart that, that Jack wants to store these stickers in four separate boxes. So we're going to partition our place value chart into four partitions, each one representing one of the boxes, the banana boxes he stores them in. So now what is this going to look like? Okay, we have 1,216. We need to divide that up by four. We'll start with the thousands place. And if you're thinking about traditional division, you would start that way. If four goes into one, well, it really doesn't. Well, let's let's see why. Let's see why. We'll, we'll take this 1,000, and you can see it's not easy to divide that into four 
equal parts. We'll take that thousand, you'd have to break it up, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we know that 1,000 is equal to how many hundreds? 1,000 is equal to 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds. So that's really essentially saying 10 hundreds plus 2 hundreds equals 10 hundreds plus 2 hundreds equals 12 hundreds. 12 hundreds. Now, we'll take the 12 hundreds and divide by 4. Let's see how this works. We have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hundreds. So you can see that it's 12 divided by 4, and you can clearly see that we have three in each group, or three hundreds. So 12 hundreds divided by four would be three, three hundreds. So now we'll move on to the tens place, and you can see that we have this one ten over here. We have one ten, and we have the same situation going on. We, we have this one ten, and it's not so easy to divide it into four groups without breaking it apart. So let's do that again. We have a similar situation going on here. We'll break that ten up. 110 equals 10 ones, you're probably thinking, good for you. So 10 plus 6 equals 16. We have 16 ones. And now we'll go ahead and break those up or divide them into four equal groups. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ah, we have 16 divided by 4. It works out nicely and evenly in this situation This for this problem. It equals 4. You can see that 16 ones divided by 4 would definitely equal 4. 4 in each group. So when you look at the the number altogether, we started off with 1,216, 1,216. So what would be the quotient? What would be the answer? So if you take a look at one of the partitions, you can see that we have three hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. And I'm just going to write that below the place value chart. We have three hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. And that would be our, our quotient. So 1,216 divided by 4 would be 304. And let's see what happens if we were to do that the traditional way. So we have 1,216 divided by 4 over here. And we'll take a look. And we have, well, 1 really can't divide that by 4. So it really, so we've got 0 times 4 is 0. We'll subtract and bring down the 200s, making... 1200s. You can see that's what we did over here. We ended up with 1200s, and now we'll try dividing 12 by 4. 12 divided by 4, and we found that that was equal to 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract. 0. We'll bring down the 10. That's a 1. Alright, so 1 divided by 4 really can't do that so well, can you? So we'll represent that with a zero up there in our quotient. Zero times four is zero. One minus zero naturally is going to be one. And then we'll bring down our six, and that makes 16 ones. Sound familiar? That's what we did over here. 16 ones divided by four. We found out that that equals four. So four times four was 16. Subtract, get zero. And once again, you have 304. Now, if you want to check your work, you may know that the inverse of division is multiplication. So you can use multiplication to check your work. We've got the quotient times the divisor will give you the dividend. So 304 times 4 should equal 1,216. Let's, let's check it out. So we have 304. 
304 times 4 should equal 1,216. Let's check it out. 4 times 4, 16. If you're thinking that, good for you. Then we have the 4, 4 times 0. That would equal 0 plus the 110 there would be 1. Okay. So now we've got 4 times 3 is 12. And look at that. It matches up. So it checks out. We've got 1,216. And if you go back up to our division problem, we have 1,216. It checks out. So 304 is definitely the answer. Let's see if it answers our math job. What is the total number of stickers in each box? Well, that makes sense. We were expecting it to be around 300. Absolutely is close. So we have numbers, pictures, and now we need the words. All right, let's check it out. If you had something like this. There are 304 banjo playing monkey stickers in each box. If you had, there are 304 stickers in each box, that would be just fine. So that was a quick look at dividing on a place value chart. So thank you for checking out worksheets on walkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.